Hey everybody, we got another FR Sky how to radio setup video for you. So this time we're gonna be going over an RB10, so redundancy bus. We're setting up our X-Cub and we're going with dual batteries and dual receivers. So we wanted to kind of go over just how to set up the RB10, the redundancy bus, because when I was looking into it, I couldn't find much data on it. So it was a little frustrating on how to set it up. So let's go over how we figured it out and how we set ours up. So Mary's gonna pan in here. So here's the redundancy bus itself. FR Sky makes it, it's called the RB10, the redundancy bus 10. Now you can see it's got two batteries. Receiver one goes in here. Receiver two goes in at the bottom. And then the S port is what gives you telemetry. So receiver one goes to our number one receiver which is a FreeSky FR Sky X8R with telemetry. And the way we get telemetry is through the smart port. Okay, and that goes up here to the smart port plug here. Now receiver two goes all the way over here to our FR Sky XM Plus. Now this is a very, very popular little full range receiver for the RB10 because look how small this thing is. You can put this anywhere in the airplane. It's a full range receiver and it does not have telemetry because you, your receiver one has the telemetry. So we're gonna demonstrate all this in a second. And then the two battery setups, here we go. So we got receive, or sorry, battery one and battery two. And we're just using life batteries um, just cause we don't have high voltage servos. So we're using lifes. So let's demonstrate all this working. We have a test servo set up yeah, it works great. So this is kind of a, like an insurance policy for when you have a big gas airplane or, you know, extra safety factor. You got two receivers and two batteries. All right, so let's plug all this in. So we're gonna plug the two batteries in. You're gonna see everything kind of come alive. So we got green light. We're all bound up on the XM Plus. We got a green light. We're all bound up on the X8R with a green light. So let's uh, start demonstrating this. So we got our test servo. So you can show the servo over there, it's working. All right, so we're gonna start unplugging stuff and what you're gonna see happen, so the servo, so I'm gonna hold the aileron over like that. And when we unplug our number one receiver, you're gonna hear that we lose telemetry, but you're gonna see the servo doesn't even jitter because our backup receiver takes over. Flawlessly. So Mary unplug receiver number one. There we go. So you can see we still have full control and it didn't even jitter at all because receiver number two, the XM Plus, took over. So let's plug receiver number one back in and we're going to regain telemetry. telemetry Servo didn't even move for full control. Now let's do the battery tests. Come over here, unplug. Let's just say we lose battery number one in flight. Same thing, we got full control over the aileron. There we go. We're secondary battery only right now. Servo didn't even glitch. So you can plug that one back in. Let's say for some reason it decides to come back online momentarily. No issue, and you can do it with battery number two also. So far, I am very impressed with this setup, and it's not even that expensive. I think the RB10, the redundancy bus, is like 40 bucks. Uh, an XM Plus receiver, which you, which is perfect for a satellite receiver, is only, I think they're only like 20 bucks. And another really good thing about using the XM Plus is it has two of the uh, dipole antennas, whereas the main receiver number one has two PCB antennas. So let's think about a scenario here. Let's say we're flying around and we lose receiver one for some issue. We've lost connection or telemetry because maybe these and maybe this style antenna has lost, um, you know, it's lost its link to our transmitter. So it's going to kick over to this one, which has a different style antenna. So maybe it'll it'll pick it up because those didn't work. So there's a lot of benefits to using this. And you can see we made our cord or our, our cable really long because you want to mount your satellite receiver away from the area that failed. So we're gonna have our main receiver in here and our satellite is because it's so small, it's probably gonna be down here in the tail boom somewhere. 
So basically, we've got a really good insurance policy, kind of a redundant battery and redundant receiver setup for this big plane. So really cool setup. Only kind of thing you're gonna need is two female to female uh, servo leads. So you can see we had to make our own female to female servo leads. Most servo leads are female to male. Um, so we had just soldered up, you know, we cut two, two normal servo leads in half and then just soldered the two female ends together, done. And that way you can kind of customize the length of the lead you need to where you want it. I hope this video helped with the RB10. If you guys got any questions, you know, just always ask us. But like I said, when I was looking into the RB10 and using it for this airplane, I, I couldn't find much. Um, it's really cool. You do have to solder everything onto it. So I had to solder the battery leads onto it. But if you're handy with a soldering iron, it's, it's really not difficult at all. Uh, Mary, just pan over to the RB10 one more time because you can see uh, you do got to solder the battery leads onto the pads. And then everything else is pretty much just plugging stuff in. Really cool, really uh, light, compact. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Like I said, hope that tip helped. Um, just ask us in the comments if you got any questions. And uh, if you like this kind of stuff, just like, comment, subscribe, and we can uh, put up more of that stuff. Thanks everyone.